With its sprawling open world, visceral combat, and epic tale of a samurai, forced to abandon his code of honor to defend his homeland, Ghost of Tsushima easily became my favorite new IP to emerge from Sony during the past generation. So the announcement that a Ghost of Tsushima film, held by Chad Stahelski, one of the best action directors currently working in Hollywood, is something that should have had me jumping up and down in excitement, but I have to say I'm a little split on how to feel about it. Despite my unwavering love for both Ghost of Tsushima and Stahelski's John Wick series, there's a few reasons why I'm somewhat hesitant at the idea of a Ghost of Tsushima film. First and foremost, and this is something I said in my review of the game, is that I think the strength of Ghost of Tsushima's narrative is in its side stories, not the main quest. And if this is a direct adaptation of the game, which it most likely is, then I just I just don't think the main story is strong enough to warrant an adaptation. Now don't get me wrong, it has its moments, several of them in fact, but when I think back to my favourite story moments, it's the intimate scenes that really stand out to me as the most compelling. Scenes like Jin and Yuriko reminiscing about Jin's father, Yuna's revenge on the slave traders that abused her as a child, or Lady Masako's hunt for her family's murderer. These are all storylines that a two hour film just wouldn't have time to do justice, if even include at all. Now this is a problem that I think would be mostly negated if this was a series, since that would allow the time necessary to develop multiple storylines, but a movie would almost definitely shortchange Ghost of Tsushima's outstanding supporting characters. Now Stahelski's hiring is actually very telling of the approach Sony is taking with the movie. He's an action director first and foremost, and one of the best working at the moment. Not only does the John Wick series have some of the most impressive action sequences in recent cinema, but his involvement in films like Birds of Prey, 300, and the last two Captain America films show that outside of the raids Gareth Evans and Iko Uwe, he's about as good as you can get when it comes to fight choreography and direction, which makes him pretty suitable for a project like Ghost of Tsushima. Since Sony seems to be taking an action spectacle approach rather than a narrative focused one, there's one way I think you can make this movie work that would not only make me way more excited for it, but I think would suit the director's style more than a direct adaptation would, and has numerous benefits for Sony too. So rather than retell the story of the game, I'd like to see the movie take a similar approach to the game's one-off side tales, and serve as a self-contained story set after the events of the game. Jin is already embraced his newfound role as the ghost, and we follow him on just one of the many quests he takes up to help the island locals. Considering the variety of stories we get in the game's numerous side tales, from detective style murder investigations to a horror tinged journey into a supposedly haunted forest, this approach would give Stahelski a huge amount of creative freedom to make the type of movie he wants to. It would also be more in line with his previous work. The John Wick films aren't large scale epics featuring battles between armies, they tell a smaller, more personal story one man seeking revenge and then dealing with the escalating consequences of his actions. Not only would a self-contained story suit the director more, but it would also be a more faithful homage to the type of films that inspired Ghost of Tsushima. Yojimbo in particular has been cited repeatedly as the major inspiration for the game, which, like many classic samurai films, tells the story of a wandering samurai who happens upon a situation and decides to intervene. This is effectively the same setup the game's side tales have, with each almost serving as a mini samurai film, so I think a similar setup for the movie could be the best approach to take. On top of a smaller, more self-contained story making more sense for the film from a creative perspective, there's a couple of reasons from a business perspective that would make this a more attractive route to go. The most significant being the budget. A direct adaptation of Ghost of Tsushima would not be a cheap movie to make. If you just think about the game's opening sequence alone, there's thousands of soldiers, ships, horses, half of which are on fire, it would be incredibly expensive, and that would just be the film's first 10 minutes or so. While big battles are expensive, films like John Wick and The Raid prove that impressive action sequences don't have to be. The other reason I would say keeping it within the world of the game makes sense from a business perspective is I think it makes for better marketing. A movie will boost sales of the game regardless, but it gives those who have played the game something new, while those who haven't, but enjoyed the movie, may be more compelled to play it to learn Jin's backstory. The sheer amount of goodwill the film would receive from fans if it brought back the game's cast would be hard to ignore, and considering the character models in the game are based on the actors playing them, there's really no reason not to. Even Jin's actor Daisuke Suji is already campaigning for the role. Now I may be somewhat biased, I have made my preference for in-canon video game adaptations well known in some of my previous videos, but even when I try to think about how to do a Ghost of Tsushima film from an objective standpoint, I think small scale is still the best way to go. So those are just some of my thoughts on the Ghost of Tsushima film. What do you think about it? Do you want to see the film act as a standalone sequel to the game, or would you prefer to see the ghost's origin story brought to life on the big screen? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit the like button, and you can also check out my spoiler review of Ghost of Tsushima or Ghost of Tsushima Legends. Since we've now had our first look at Horizon Forbidden West gameplay, I'll be doing a video giving my thoughts on that and more broadly what I'd like to see from that game. We've also been getting more casting for The Last of Us series, so once all the major characters are cast, I'll be breaking that down too. So if any of those videos interest you, or you want to see more videos on the Ghost of Tsushima film, which I'll certainly be doing as we get more news, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.